Okay, Drupal e-commerce, adding a shopping cart to your Drupal installation. Uh, this video is just a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the entire tutorial. Um, and we're going to drop you in at about part two. We've already installed the store. We've already set up a few things, dependent modules and all that good stuff. And uh, this is basically the explanation of, uh, you know, preparing your site for products, receipts, and all that good stuff. You know, we could just hop into creating content and go ahead and create a product, but, you know, I, I make sure that the store is set up, and then I begin to add the products and all that good stuff, all right? So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to start down here in the configuration, and then just sort of work our way up, and then, of course, we'll work our way up through the rest of these um, and a majority of these, you know, a, more, a majority of the next 30 to 45 minutes is really going to be you listening to me. But what I'm going to do is just make suggestions and things and just basically tell you things that we've run into when we're building stores. And uh, even more importantly, our own store, which is where, you know, we can kind of give some really good insight for what we're doing. So that's, that's what's going to happen here. Um, so if we head up here to the store admin menu, or administration menu, and go to configuration, we come down here to store settings, all right, just select on that. It's going to bring us into this page where, of course, you, if you read all this stuff, you know, it was not set, not set, not set, all this good stuff. What we can do is just click on edit, and it's going to bring us into this first section right here. And, of course, this is where we can fill things out like Master Flash Corporation. You know, if you want to give an actual entity of a, of a business, then you can put, you know, Master Flash support or whatever your name is support at masterflash.net and then of course we can just fill in all the appropriate data down here all right and uh, all this good stuff okay and then of course we just have to select the state uh, the help page this is going to be up to you obviously you can create a custom page that will show up in the cart that if it's if you register this you know you would have to obviously create content explaining them on a page you know how how the store works or how shipping works or specific information that you want to share with them alright and then of course you just save it and what all this store data is for is really just you know anytime somebody gets a receipt alright this is the information that's going to show up anytime that uh, you send an email through one of the order sections this is where that stuff is going to is going to pull from the database alright alright so if we head to display settings which really isn't that important you know, it's just the basics. Their Drupal setup is, is okay. I am going to actually do something extra here. Um, obviously, just dashboard with collapsible submenu links. What this does is this allows them to actually minimize the content in the actual shopping cart. You know, for example, if I go into my shopping cart right now, and I am going to be using this site to explain a few things here just so you can kind of see what's going on. What's going on. All right, so I just click checkout. Well, in here, the collapsible links that that option was giving you is this, all right? I can actually close this stuff down, and it's always pretty cool because that way it just eliminates, you know, some people will use it. It eliminates the ability to uh, have to scroll and all that good stuff, all right? And then, of course, primary address to customers. Um, my thoughts on this, obviously, if you're shipping products, you know, you need to decide what you want to do. But, um, you know, the main goal when you have a store and your client has a store is to literally get that billing address set so you can make some money, right? So the store can actually operate and no matter what, process any kind of credit card data based on the billing address, right? There's other locations where you can set the shipping address. And of course, this uh, footer message for page stores. Um, what I'd like to do is, I know I said I wasn't gonna create content a second ago, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you where to change this and I'm gonna show you why, all right? So if I come in here to create content up here, I'm just gonna open this up in a different browser, okay? Obviously, now that we've added the store, we have the ability to, um, you know, set up a, a, a product or a product kit. Okay, so if we go to create a product, and I'm not doing anything special on this, I'm really just creating a name. We'll put test one. All right, and then of course in the description, this is test one product details. All right, and then of course, you know, we don't have much to choose down here. I'm not going to put an image. I'm not going to put a SKU because I'm going to delete this in a minute. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And while that's saving, this information right here, if you kind of give these a quick glance, all right, and then come back to our product page, we'll, well, I guess the SKU is required, so we'll just do test one. All 
All right, so basically we've got, you know, randomly select image or text right here. All right, if we look down here, you can see that this automatically gets embedded, all right? That text right there is the text that is in here. Okay, obviously you can choose to display this message or not, all right? So the easy way of getting rid of this is to actually remove it. Um, if you want to know where to configure this, here's where you go. All right, I'm going to pull my Dreamweaver back in here. I'm going to open up the Ubercart module. And of course, Dreamweaver is going to make it easy for me to, to hunt this down, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do, you don't have to open the credits. I'm just doing a find and replace easily, all right? So if I hit find and replace, all right, what I've done is I've selected a folder in here where I can actually go search the Ubercart, all right? And then, of course, you know, what I can also type in here is powered because the powered obviously shows up right here. We just have to find one keyword that's more relevant to all this stuff and it's just easy to search. All right, so if I hit find all, it's going to search the entire module, which of course displays results right here. I can click in here and notice that when I double click on this, you know, here is the exact text and function for what this page contains. All right. Again, what this allows us to do is basically put our own information in here how we want it displayed, all right? And of course, this is where you can basically, you know, put, <coughs> excuse me, anything you want. You know, like your domain name, or <laughs> type this out. Um, you know, we could put something like, um, Undisputed e commerce designs, or something like that, right? And then, of course, you can put supported by, you know, uh, Master Lash Corporation. And then, of course, we can put something, you know, extremely <laughs> whatever, uh, the uncommon concept. All right, and of course you can always do a powered by, right? Or, you know, we can put something different in here. We can just do something like pure creativity. Master Flash Corporation. All right, so once we save that, obviously now that we've found this through our find and replace, I'm just gonna right click here and locate in site. And uh, as you can see where this file is located is under the uh, UC underscore store folder, all right? And we're basically looking for the store.module, which is right here. All right. So if I upload this, I can then come back into the uh, file in here. And of course, if I hit refresh, check it out. All right. So a little bit of uh, hard coding there. And it's not necessarily hard coding, we're just basically putting in our values in place of theirs. Now, of course, it's always appropriate to, um, you know, put plugs in for free modules like this. The fact is, is that if you're running a business, you know, it needs to be yours and not someone else's, right? Okay, so uh, that's how you change that. We can head over to the uh, format settings. You know, by the way, um, if I do check this out, if I hit refresh here, hopefully the cache will update. Maybe we can get that to uh, update. Let's see. Sometimes it takes the minute to cache or a, a cron run to actually get it to. Um... Yeah, see, it's just not, it's not updating. But that's all right because the next time you run cron and everything refreshes, it begins to actually display. Uh, heading over to format settings. Okay, now obviously this is going to be up to you, all right, just allows you to set values and all this good stuff. You know, you can put custom things into the uh, actual products and all that good stuff, all right. Um, not really going to touch too much on that as that's going to be more dependent on what you're selling. All right, um, let's see, so we can go into configuration, come down here to stock settings. All right, and what this is going to allow you to do is gear an email to where if somebody is checking out on your site and the stock doesn't occur or if you're not keeping stock through the database, then obviously what it's going to do is it's going to put the store name. All right, it's going to take this token and basically be, you know, Master Flash Corporation stock threshold limit reached.
okay? And you can basically tell them what's happening by using this, and this, of course, is going to provide them with the, uh, the order link of their order, all right? And, of course, you can get cool with this because uh, full HTML and all the tags are supported to actually send that message. Okay, that ends the Drupal e-commerce video sample. You can find the source files and the full video tutorial located on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.